the Nihon Kodin NKV-330 ventilator is intended to support ventilation and oxygenation for spontaneously breathing adult and pediatric patients who require tidal volumes of 100 ml or larger. The NKV-330 offers mandatory and spontaneous ventilation modes during non-invasive or invasive ventilation and high-flow oxygen therapy. On the front of the ventilator is the 12.1-inch graphical user interface, referred to as the GUI. Clinicians interact with the GUI both through the touch interface and the encoder knob. A large alarm indicator provides 360-degree visibility. Below the GUI is the power on off button, the speaker, and LEDs that indicate power on off, AC power connected, and battery charging status. On the left side of the ventilator is the AC power cord connector and an equipotential ground terminal. The data output ports are the connection points for various devices such as a nurse call system or bedside patient monitor. There are two oxygen inlet ports one for high pressure and one for low pressure. Since the NKV-330 incorporates a built-in blower to provide an air source, there is no air inlet port. Air going to the internal blower first passes through a dust filter, then through a HEPA filter, prior to reaching the blower. On the right side of the ventilator is the inspiratory gas outlet port. Air going to the patient passes through a HEPA filter located directly behind this port. There are tubing connections for measuring proximal pressure or for connecting the optional proximal flow sensor. A USB port and SD card slots are used for downloading settings, saving data, and updating software. A check button provides access to the system configuration and technical screens when pressed and held during power up. There are also two connectors for attaching Nihon Kodin CO2 and SpO2 sensors. On the rear of the ventilator is the main battery compartment which contains a hot swap lithium ion battery and the oxygen sensor compartment. When the ventilator is powered on, the patient selection window will be displayed and the ventilator will be in standby. In this window, the clinician selects the patient type and reviews the circuit configuration. To change the circuit configuration, press the setup button, then select the appropriate choice for exhalation port, proximal sensor, and patient interface. To close the circuit configuration window, press the X. Press accept to go to the circuit check and calibrations window. This window displays the current calibration status and allows the clinician to perform calibrations when needed. Press X to go to the standby screen. Prior to starting ventilation, clinicians can pre-select the mode and ventilation control settings and alarm limits. Press X to go to the standby screen. When ready to begin ventilation, press the Start Ventilation button. The GUI is divided into five sections. The System Information section contains the Alarm Messages area, Screen Copy button, Patient Interface Indicator, Main Battery Status, and date and time details. The numeric monitor section displays the current value of the selected monitored parameters which are configurable. The waveform section displays waveforms and loops and these are also configurable. In the ventilation mode and control settings section, clinicians can change to a different ventilation mode or make changes to a control setting. To change a primary control setting, the clinician selects the setting to be adjusted makes the adjustment with the encoder knob, then confirms the adjustment by pressing the encoder knob in. To change the ventilation mode or access additional control settings, touch the mode button. When changing ventilation mode, the clinician selects the new mode, presets the settings for the new mode, then touches the change mode button to confirm the start of the new mode. From this window, clinicians can also access additional ventilation controls by selecting the additional settings tab or tabs that are available. The operational keys section provides direct access to certain functions. The three upper keys, audio paused, menu, and alarm settings are fixed in these positions. The four lower keys are user configurable. On this screen, 
They are currently configured for waveform freeze, screen lock, trend one, and standby. This concludes the introduction to the NKV-330 ventilator. Thank you.